Hi, I'm Jonathan from HSS Sports Safety Program. So my inspirational quote for you all today is keep your head up. I know we're in a challenging time, but you're taking that next step to be physically active at home. So keep your head up. You're doing great. Some things you're going to need for today's workout are your sneakers and an open space. Just be aware of your surroundings because we are going to work on running and cutting today. That's our theme. So you definitely need to be aware of that space. So the first exercise we're going to go into is jogging forward. This is going to be our little warm up. Again, you just need this small space that I'm working in and I'll just have you get your knees up, head up, and we could just jog back and forth in your place. So a couple of notes while we're doing this, make sure that your head is up, your chest is up. You're getting your arms involved with your leg movements. Right? We don't want to just be uh, stiff like this. And as we're doing this, maintaining good posture, keeping our ear in line with our shoulder and our hips. We don't want to be leaning forward too much as we're jogging like this. We want to keep nice and upright. Also, our knees. Our knees are guiding how we're moving. We want them to be nice and straight. Think of them as headlights of a car. If they're pointing straight, that's where your body's going to go. Nice and forward. All right. So go through that a couple of times just as our little warm up. Next, what we're going to go into is a lateral march. So all that is, is starting here and we're just going to go side to side. And we could work in a small space here. And one thing I always like to talk about is tempo. I want you to get this movement done correctly before you start increasing the speed of the march side to side. A couple of notes here, just like the forward run. Is my head up? Is my chest up while I'm doing it? Are my knees getting to the same height as each other, right? Am I moving my arms with my legs? A great thing if you really want to focus on, as I lift my left, my right arm should come up. Then I transition. And you see this speed that I'm starting out at, I get my body ready to really increase it now. And the focus here is working on the balls of our feet. We don't want to be flat footed because it's going to be difficult to change direction and to increase that speed. All right, so that's the lateral march. The next exercise we're going to do is a single leg balance. So it's very important that we have good balance when we're cutting or, or, or working on agility or speed because when we are running, we are working off one leg for a lot of those movements. So here I'll challenge you all. Let's start on the right leg, lift the left leg up to about 90 degrees here, hold those arms out, and we want to try to hold this position for 30 seconds. So watch me as I'm doing this. You want to think you're as still as a statue. We don't want you leaning side to side. We want your head up nice and tall, your chest up. And again, something we've spoken about in previous videos is keeping our ear in line with our shoulder and our hip. Then also look down at our our lower leg. Is our knee wobbling back and forth? We want it pointed straight ahead. Make sure you're breathing and trying to hold that position. Fixate on something in front of you and the wall or even while you're brushing your teeth in the morning, try it on one leg and really challenge your balance. So as we just worked on balance, our next exercise is a single leg forward T. So I'm gonna show you from the front to start. So you need really good balance for this exercise. We'll start on the right leg, similar position as a single leg balance. And then what I want you to do is drop your hips back, keep your body nice and straight, and you want to aim to get your chest parallel to the ground. You see that? And then come back up. All right, and then again, at this speed, nice and slowly, gain that good balance, feel a stretch in the back of your leg, and come back up nice and tall. There could be a slight bend in your knee to start. We don't want to completely lock it out, and make sure we don't want to favor one leg than the other. We could go from the right to a couple, and then make sure we're doing the left the same amount. Good, and always keeping in mind of those positions of our lower body, and of our posture as we're doing this. It's not about how deep you go. You're not trying to touch your nose to the ground. We're just trying to get parallel and feel that stretch. So our next exercise is is a side lunge. So again, starting from this position, our hips, our, our legs are in line with our hips. And what I want you to do is take a step out to the right. And then what I do is I drop my hips back, bend my knee, and this leg is straight. And then I'm pushing off my right leg to come back to that starting position. All right, so again, now with the left. Okay, keep going. Take turns, do three on the right, 
three on the left. And notice as I'm doing the side lunge, my chest is up, my head is up, my knees in line with my ankle and my hip, right? And as you get comfortable with the movement, then you can maybe go side to side like this. Or maybe just do those three in a row to the side. Again, pushing off that leg as we're coming back to that starting position. So the next exercise we're gonna do is a single leg heel raise, all right? Really working on that balance because like I said, for running and cutting, it's very important because we're working off one leg to change the direction for a lot of times. So this is a great exercise to help you with that. So we'll start on the right leg. Again, starting from that single leg balance position. And what I want you to do is lift your heel off the ground and bring it back down. So it's a very small movement, but we wanna do it with control. Think about how you're distributing your weight on your feet. Am I rolling over to my pinky too much? Am I rolling over to my big toe? We wanna make sure it's distributed nice and evenly. So from the side here, hands on the hips, nice, good and straight, chest up. I go up, one, two, and down. Up, one, two, and down, okay? And you notice as I'm going through that, I'm, I'm not swaying, trying to catch my balance. If you feel like you are having trouble with this, take a break, reset, and then go into the next rep. So the next exercise we're gonna do is called a scissor jump. So this is gonna require uh, some balance as well, but it, if we start in a good position, you'll be able to get through this, all right. So what I want you to do is you're gonna start off in a lunge position. We're gonna bend both of our knees, our chest is up, our head is up, and then we're going to jump up in the air and switch our feet, okay? So I'll do a couple for you from the side view. And that's the pace. Again, I don't want you rushing through those scissor jumps and then losing your balance in between and we're suffering with the quality, okay? It's not about quantity here. All right, good starting position. Chest up, good posture. And then switch, switch. From the front here, again, starting here. My knee is in line with my ankle and my hip. My chest and my head is up towards the screen and then I'm jumping up and switching. And noticing I'm landing in the same spot every single time. I'm not falling off to the left or falling to the right too much. Our next exercise is a single leg hop forward and back. So if you've done previous videos with us, you've noticed I like to use a line on the ground. That's gonna be our place where we're hopping over. So knees slightly bent, working on the balls of our feet. Line is in front of us. We're gonna jump over and back. Again, not a big space, nice and slowly to start. And then you can increase or get a little faster now. And if you notice, while I'm hopping over, going forward to back, it's a nice soft landing. I'm bending my knees. I'm distributing the force of my jump correctly. Bending my knees, dropping my hips back, moving my arms with my jump, okay? So that's gonna be key with this hop, and then you'll be able to have good balance and go back and forth quickly. So our next exercise is the chop and stop. So now getting into the bulk of our theme today, which is running and cutting and agility, this is a good approach to slow you down so then you can change direction, okay? So working in a small distance again, we're not trying to get to top speed, we're just learning how to do this technique, which is running, chop, chop, chop our feet, hips go back. Okay, so let me do that a couple of times so you get a sense of how my feet go. And okay, and I'm sure many of you are familiar with basketball. You hear their sneakers on the court, the squeaky clean court, dropping their hips back and pushing. What we don't want to do when we're doing a change of direction or running to come to a full stop is running and just jump and hold it. Right? So that's what the whole chop and stop is. Really starting to decelerate ourselves and our hips coming back to get us to that stop position. So the next one we're gonna do is a 45 degree cut. So I want you to think of a 90 degree angles like this. So 45, we're just gonna be a small minor cut in between that. So what I want you to do is start on one corner of your living room and we're gonna get into um, our running position and you're gonna run, chop, chop, turn, and then go to the other corner. So think of it almost as a V. You're starting on, on one corner, running, changing direction, and then going to the next corner. Let me demonstrate that a couple of times for you all. So we're here, chop, chop, chop. 
and stopping. So let's do that again. Coming here, chop, chop, hold, and then turning. And notice as I'm chopping, stopping here, I'm working off my right leg, turning my hips, and going that other direction. So I want you to do a couple starting from one end of your living room. Then I want you to change this, the other side, okay? So make sure that you're working off both legs. So one last time. And then coming here. And you saw there I was able to push off my left. All right, so that's all the content for today. Thank you for joining me and hope to see you in a future workout.